I have found the best tool and the best content strategy to grow your LinkedIn following enormously. If you grow on LinkedIn, it means you're gonna get more leads, more sales, and ultimately grow your business and your revenue. So I'm gonna dive straight into this tool. The tool is called Tapio. So what you've landed on here, these are my statistics. I'll show you a little bit about how this works, but the real magic in the tool is what I'm gonna show you shortly. The AI that actually helps you generate your content. Um, so first off, it's gonna track everything you do. This is a test account, so it's not my main account, so you'll see it's quite recent. Um, I didn't wanna share kind of all that detail, um, but you'll see how it works. Here it tracks your statistics, the important statistics. It also tracks the posts that generated the most engagement or generated the most views. So this is really important based upon what you're aiming for. Do you want more views from your posts or do you want more engagement? You can see which you know is achieving that. Um, importantly as well, it then breaks down all of the post performance. You can see it here. So you can look over a different span of you know, seven days, 30 days, 90 days, whatever it is. And then it's gonna detail and break down those posts for you here. So you can see you do it via views. You can see which worked the best. But the magic from this tool, like I promised, is in the viral content section. So this, like I said, is a beginner's guide. I'm not gonna go into everything. I'm just gonna go into the main pillars, the main bits you need to know to get results from this tool. What viral content does is it generates post inspiration for you. So based on your account, based on keywords that you give it, there's filters that you can add here, it's going to go and find posts that are potentially relevant to your audience that you can repurpose. So if we look here, this account is all based around sustainability. Um, so it's given this suggestion here. So what I would do is I would go ahead and I would click on edit and post. You can see this performed really well. I got 402 likes. So I would then take this post. I can't just copy it. Taplio won't let me just copy it, of course, but then I need to make it my own. So, you know, today ESG investing is impacting the investor. Um, you know, so we would make changes such as, you know, like this, um, we'd maybe review that ESG investing uh, impacts the investor all over the world. Um, and you would make other changes, right? So, um, you know, however, investors and what you're looking for, as you'll see here where it says keep going, you'll eventually get to a stage where it then says um, all good um, and it'll go green. And that means that you have made all of the edits necessary. That post is now a standalone post. It's now, um, you know, different enough. You can see there just to show you, of course, I've spent a few seconds on this. If you were actually creating a post, you'd spend more time. Um, you can see it's gone green, which means this one is good to go. You know, you could go ahead and use it. That is, this is the main way that I use this tool. The other one is search mode. Um, so in search mode, what you'll see here is that you can put in a specific topic and it will find viral posts around that topic. Um, you can put in multiple topics. There's various filters you can choose. So you can say, I want posts that have at least 100 likes, 200 likes, whatever it is, you know, raise that bar as high as you want um, when it comes to looking for content that you want to repurpose. So here you can see it's gone ahead and found marketing content. Uh, you know, we could take marketing is simple. Um, so if we click on that one, it's the same process, right? Marketing is simple, find a market, research potential solutions, and then we would make some changes here. So marketing is simple. And then we might have a totally different approach for the steps that we take or how we word them, etc. And so you would repurpose that um, and then you would click, you know, add to queue. The reason this is so important is, it be is because the time you spend creating posts, you're gonna have a much higher chance of success with those posts because you've based it on something that already works, right? You're not just creating a post, hoping people will like it. You know, you found this post worked. I'm going to now create my own version of this. I'm gonna say it in my way, put my spin on it. Some of the other really key tools within Taplio um, is the AI generators. Before I get onto that quickly, it does have a CRM. 
It has industry news, save posts. So there is a lot of other items within this. So I'll make future videos. This one is just about getting started, the beginner's guide. Comment below if you have specific sections you'd like me to talk in depth about or which of those videos you'd like me to, to make next. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the video, hit the like button and check out all the tools down below. These are marketing and sales tools that I use day in and day out. Yes, they're affiliate links, but I use these tools anyway, so go ahead and check those out. Okay, so back to Taplio. Um, so the next key part of this is the AI generators. Um, so you have this generated for you where it's gonna go ahead and actually generate a post for you. And you can see the post that has gone ahead and generated. Sometimes these are a bit hit and miss. The more you use Taplio and the more data that it gets from your account, the better this is going to be. Um, so, you know, for sustainability professionals, um, you know, this one is good. Most of these posts are good. I've actually tested this a few times before making this video and the vast majority of them are good. I would probably just make a few tweaks to them uh, and then I would use them. So it's got really good. This AI content generator saves a huge amount of time. Um, and then of course you have a post generator where you put in the details of what you would like the post to be about. So you feed it the information with the generated for you. I didn't even have to prompt it. It's just gone ahead, looked at my account and then created those items. You have a hook generator. This I use all the time. So it creates brilliant hooks and the hook on any platform is really important, right? The hook on my YouTube video is important. The hook on LinkedIn is important or Twitter. It's the bit that catches people's attention. So really make sure that you use this. It's incredibly powerful. You have um, a carousel generator. Haven't played around with this yet. Again, I'll do a future video about this. So, you know, subscribe and, and stay tuned for that. The other section that I really like is repurpose content into posts. So I can repurpose a YouTube uh, video for example and it's going to create a LinkedIn post based on that YouTube video this YouTube video for example um, so that is a quick introduction a beginner's guide to Taplio uh, like I said before comment below with specific sections you'd like me to talk about any of these areas you'd like me to dive into subscribe like the video check out the marketing tools below and I'll see you in the next video